Hi everyone! In this video, we will focus on the default time distribution. We will see the relationship between the cumulative and the marginal default rates and how these two probabilities change with time depending on the credit quality of the borrower. A default event refers to a situation where a borrower fails to meet its legal obligations of debt repayment. The default time tau is a point in time when the default event occurs. It is a random variable following a certain distribution function. For a given borrower, the cumulative default probability PD of t gives the probability of default between 0 and t, while the survival probability S of t is a probability that there is no default before t. The sum of the two is equal to 1. The survival probability in blue on this chart starts at 100% and decreases over time, converging to zero, while the default probability in red starts at zero and increases over time, converging to one. The default time density function PDF is the derivative of the cumulative default probability with respect to time. The probability that there is a default between t and t plus dt is equal to pdf of t times dt. And the integral between 0 and plus infinity of pdf is equal to 1. A first simple example is the default time distribution with a constant default intensity model. Within this framework, the survival probability is equal to the exponential of minus lambda t and we recognize the probability density function of an exponential distribution with lambda the parameter of the distribution. Lambda is the hazard rate, also known as the default intensity or failure rate. It represents the instantaneous rate at which a borrower is expected to default at any given time, given that he hasn't defaulted before. On this chart, we show the default probability and the survival probability as a function of time with lambda equals to 5%. If lambda increases to 10%, for example, it means a higher risk of default for the borrower. The cumulative default probability function increases, converging to 1 more quickly, while the survival probability decreases. If we plot this time the default time density function still assuming a constant default intensity, we see that it is a decreasing function of time, which makes sense as the survival probability decreases with time. However, the conditional probability of default between t and t plus dt in this framework remains constant equal to lambda times dt. The marginal default probability is the probability that a borrower will default in a specific time period given that it has survived up to the beginning of that period. If we know the cumulative default probability at t1 and t2, we can deduce the marginal default probability between t1 and t2 with the following expression. It can be easily demonstrated by writing the probability of default between t0 and t2 as a sum of the probability of default between t0 and t1 and the product of the probability that there is no default between t0 and t1 and the probability that there is a default between t1 and t2 knowing that there is no default before t1, the latest probability being the marginal default probability between t1 and t2. The evolution of the cumulative and the marginal default probabilities depend on the credit quality of the borrower. For an investment grade borrower with a good credit quality, the default risk is low on the short term. However, if the borrower doesn't default, there are risks that it will not be able to maintain the same credit quality over time that it downgrades, meaning an increase of the marginal default probability. For a high-yield borrower with a bad credit quality, it is the opposite. Its default probability is high on the short term, but if it survives, it is likely that it upgrades, meaning a better credit quality over time and a decrease of the marginal default probability. As an exercise in Python, using the theoretical one-year rating transition matrix, calculate the two-year, three-year, four-year, and five-year cumulative transition matrices. Then, plot the cumulative default rates for investment grade and high-yield credit ratings and plot the corresponding marginal default rates. Thank you for your time.